Yeah. Okay, so we've got a uh, concrete slab that we're preparing for and we've got some starter bars coming out of the footing and we want to put a nice neat bend in it so that it goes across at the right height. Uh, if we just try and bend them by hand, they end up all over the shop and, and not very nice to uh, work with. So I'm going to show you my trick for getting those bent in nice and neatly. We've got, uh, let's just get a close up in here. I've just gone around with a laser level and uh, marked the height that I want them bent at. That's probably just a little bit lower than halfway in the slab. So by the time you get the bend in and then the mesh, mesh on top, will be about 30 mil clear of the uh, top of the slab, at least. So I use this. This is just an old bit of pipe that I had laying around. If we uh, get a zoom in there, I've just got a slot cut in there to fit the Rio bar. And on the opposite side, I've got a hooked slot. So all I do, now let's just swing over this side. You'll see I've just got a bit of chipboard there to protect the decal. It's just decomposed granite under there, so we don't want to mess it all up. Just got that to protect it. So back over here, all we do is we just slide that in, hook it on. I'm going to just push that down till the top of it's in line with my mark. Give it a bit of a nudge. And then we grab just another bit of uh, pipe or something like that. I'm going to slide that over, just make sure that's on the right height. Now, once you start pushing that, let's just zoom out and get a bit more of an overall look. Now, as soon as I put some pressure on there, it's locked itself in. I just give it a bend, like that. Just unhook that. Now you'll see we've got a nice neat bend there, but it is kind of poking up in the air a little bit. We want it to sort of sit down a little bit. So I'm just going to move that bit of chipboard so the end of the, the plastic's protected from that. And all I'm going to do is just slide that on there. I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on it and then just hit the bar right down the bottom here. That bar's sitting down nicely and all I do is just throw a bar chair under it and now I've got a nice flat uh, bar so when we sit the mesh on we can tie, tie it on at both ends and it's sitting nice and could have sort of straight and parallel with our slab and that's my trick for bending bars into our slab thank you and uh, good luck there you go